what we believe about ourselves, about our lives, is really what we see reflected in our lives. I mean, we can want all we want, but we don't get or we don't manifest what we want in our lives. We manifest what we believe. And we forget that we actually have amazing things in our lives. So if someone could start a gratitude journal today or tomorrow and work on it for the next few weeks and write down every day three to five or ten things that they're grateful for, people in their lives, the home they have, the car they drive, whatever they're grateful for. On September 11th, 2017, I was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma. And for those of you in the room who don't actually know what that is, that's absolutely fine because when I was diagnosed, I had no idea either. But it turns out that it's the most deadly form of skin cancer. And when I received that diagnosis, I, look, I passed out, I hit the ground, literally and metaphorically, but I got back up. And when I was diagnosed with cancer, it was as if a light had been turned on inside of me and I was filled with this immense feeling of, of creativity and I just felt that I needed to get everything I was feeling inside onto canvas and share what I was feeling with the world through art. And that's the beauty of art. If you're facing any challenges in your life, small or large, express yourself creatively. And not only can your creativity help you, your creativity can help other people too. Isn't that the greatest gift of all? Because everybody in this room, everybody in the world has a unique voice, a voice that nobody else has. Share your voice with the world. Don't get to where I was. Don't get to your deathbed and realize that you hadn't shared your voice. Don't die in regret. But the most important thing I learned was how important it is to reach out a hand. Whether you're lying on the ground and you're reaching up or you're standing up and you're reaching down, Reach out a hand and be kind to people. And make memories with the people that you love. Yeah. But that inspires me and motivates me. So I'm not going to get to 90 and be on my deathbed and say, why didn't I do all of that? Yeah. I do it now, I'm doing it now.